Alright, let's talk about last song, Wait 2. So you're given an array of integer songs. So if the two songs are equal, they are going to be destroyed. If they are not equal, uh, you want to generate a new stone, which is going to be a y minus x weight for the for the stone, right? And then you have to return the smallest possible weight of the leftover stone. So, uh, in this question, it's a little bit hard to explain, and it definitely a little bit hard for code. And then uh, let's think about this, right? So two seven four one eight one. This is a rate. So I can probably just say okay two seven for one a one so two seven when they compare uh, this will give you five this will give you three this is giving seven and then you can still compare so this is going to be what five and three you compare it's going to be two right seven and two you compare it's going to be it's going to be five again so at the end it's five so this is not a optimal solution right so uh again if you want to know how to do this you want to find out like when you compare for the first for the first two comparison so it's going to be first half and then second half right this has to what this has to goes to n over two so what does n so n represent the sum of the uh stone so at the so, so let's just say sum. Sum equal to 20, 23, I think. Okay. So if this is S1, this is S2, right? So S1 minus S2 has to what? Uh, has to be the output, right? So it's going to be a result, right? So if this is going to be true, so S1, so S1 is close to what? Sum over 2. But S2 is also close to sum over 2, right? But S1 is greater than S2 for sure, right? So you will get the optimal solution result. Alright, so to understand this part, then we can move on. Alright, so uh, let me just redraw the diagram. Okay, so now we need to get the sum. Sum for the array is going to be 23, right? And then we need to create an integer. So uh, the integer array is going to be what? Uh, so when it's matched together, right? Uh, the optimal solution, I mean the worst case, will be half of this, right? So uh, you need to create a probably, I, I would say target, target equal to 23 over 2, so it's going to be 11. So if you still remember, I'm, I'm going to just um, write down my S1 minus S2, it's going to be results. And it turns out this is actually equal to what? Sum minus, since this is, uh, both of this is close to sum over 2, right? So, uh, when I, uh, and then this is going to be a target, right? Sum over 2 is a target, right? So it's going to be 2 times target. But target is what? Is the integer, right? And I need to put that into the array. So, I will be able to know what is the the target at this array value is. So uh, this is going to be what I'm going to say. Just say dp dpt dpt is the target, right? So uh, I'm just put that into somewhere uh, somewhere else. So target is going to be what eleven, right? Now uh, here's the problem. How do I actually need to do this? I need to create an array array of array of integer from from zero to target right from zero to target is actually important this is because for every single time you come here you want to pick the maximum va maximum value for the current index so here is it zero to zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven Right, I'm out of space, but let's just bear with me. So, and for every single stone, right, you can only use once for each iteration. So when you go from beginning to the end, you are reusing, you are, you are repeating using the previous value, right, based on, uh, based on each traversal, right? But 
when you traverse from the end to the beginning, right? You will only use once for every single traversal. This is because we don't rely on um, another index in the array, right? So again, so let's pick two. So starting from the end, uh, so for the current value, I'm just writing my current value. This is all zero, right? You agree with you agree with me? This is all zero. All right, now. So for the current value, how do I pick the maximum? It's going to be what? 11, 11, so current index is 11, right? 11 minus two, which is nine, right? So it's going to be, uh, this is the DP. So DP at I minus stone, right? DP I minus stone plus a stone. You have to pick the maximum, the maximum between, the max between the DP at I and out of space, but whatever. So you have to, you have to say DP at I comma DP I minus S plus S. It's maximum between these, right? Uh, so this is, this, uh, I mean, this is too much information for sure, but let's just keep going. So, uh, how do you actually keep track of the value? This is based on this formula. You, you have to know what's the current maximum value you can pick for the current index, uh, LDP. So when we do the math at the end, we can just say sum minus the maximum value and you have to multiply by two. This is because S1 and S2 are all close to the sum over two, right? So you'll return the smallest, smallest possible weight, right? So let's just dive in and I'm going to just do some iterate. I mean, do a few iteration and then you will just uh, do a rest. Okay. So 11, 11 is the current index, 11 minus nine. 11 minus 9, okay, 11 minus 2 is 9, sorry, 11 minus 2, which is 9, 9 plus the current stone, which is 2, right? So 0 plus 2 is actually what? 2, right? So I'll put that into 2 again. Everything is going to be 2, right? Until what? Until here, right? Because if if 1 minus, if 1 minus 2, this is all of them, right? I don't, I mean, I don't deal with all. all all of bounds uh, situation. And um, let me do another part. So again, this is going to be what? Seven. So 11 minus seven, which is what? Which is four. Four current value is two. Two plus seven is nine. And you have to pick the maximum. Nine, two. So I'm definitely nine. Nine. And nine minus seven is two. So this is nine. And then the rest of it is actually what? Uh, it's actually no. So I'm going to move to here. Nine, nine, nine. Right. All right. Let's uh, move on to uh, the four. Eleven minus four. Eleven minus four is seven, which is two. Two plus four is six. So nine and six. Which one you want to pick? Is that definitely nine, right? So I don't change this value, right? All right. Ten minus. 10 minus 4 is 6, which is 2, 2 plus 4, right? And I don't still not changing, 9, no changing. How about this, 8? So 8 minus 4 is what, 4? I mean, the 2 value. 2 plus 4 is what, 6? I will change to 6, and change to 6, change to 6, right? And what else? Uh, nothing, right? But I just can still going down, right? 5 minus 1, okay, so 5 minus 4 is what, 0, and 0 plus 4, right, this is 4, right, and this is 4, right, you just keep updating, right, updating your value, and then at the end, uh, you will just have to pick the, pick the largest, which is target, the largest value in the, in the db target, and then multiply by 2, and then subtract by the sum. Right. And then you will get an optimal solution. So this is actually an next step problem and it's a little bit hard to follow for sure. So probably you have to write down on your paper and you'll be able to understand. So I'm going to say DP. 
but I'm not going to generate it quickly until I have some, right? So some goes to zero for in stone, in stones. Some plus equal to stone, right? And then in power it. See, so it's going to be some divided by two, right? And then this does not matter. It's an even or odd number for the power. It. This is going to be what? The exactly the same thing. You need to plus one, this is because the best index starting from zero, right? So we need to go all the way to target value, so you have to plus one. And this is some divided by two times EPA target, right? And then we need to traverse a stone. It doesn't matter how you traverse, but traverse the stone. But when you traverse the array, traverse the array, you need to go from what? Go from the end to the beginning, right? To the beginning. And you can actually just say what? Uh, to what? To the last stone, which is not all of them, right? But it doesn't matter. Because I would say, if I minus stone, so I is the current index in the array, stone is the stone. If this is squared equal to zero, which is in the bound, right? And then I would say DPI equal to math of math, DPI, comma, DPI minus stone, plus the current stone weight. So I will, use, I will use the other stone once, right? I started from the back, started from the back, right? And then this is going to be pretty much it, right? Hopefully I don't make a mistake. And again, this is, uh, this is really hard to understand, so Still, I'm going to talk about my time and space. This is going to be time. This is going to be time. So this is all of S. S represents the of the stones. This, this is going to be all of S times all of T. T represents the target. So the worst case is going to be all of S times T. For the space, this is going to be all of T. And this is not constant, constant. So just for a quick note. Uh, this is the time and space complexity. And again, um, why is two times BP target? This is because, again, you need to pick the two piles, the biggest pile you can pick, and then subtract together, and then get optimal solution. And then this will give you the, uh, give you an optimal output for sure. And I'm done with the explanation and. If you have any question, leave a comment below, subscribe if you want it, and I will see you next time. Bye.